Hello everyone, welcome to Gossip Rare my name is James and today we'll be finishing off our SER R1 class build. I had to remember not to say SECR because it's the uh, South Eastern Railway R1 class, not the London, Chatham and Dover R1 class. It's a bit confusing, but uh, this is the uh, Sterling R1, which is probably a better way to mention uh, what this one is. Anyway, we'll be finishing off this today. Uh, main thing to do, which uh, for the chassis, which I have already built, it's not all that difficult to build. It's uh, the uh, Paris C class chassis without the uh, fender. But the main thing is, we're basically going to bypass this bit, which is the uh, PCB, which we don't need. So first things first is we're going to tin the ends of these two wires. These are pickups for the uh, Lyco body. You want that's that bit done. Do excuse my soldering, I'm not particularly good, but it has been working out so far. <laughs> uh, this will also be the last time I'll be ooh, don't mind that, uh, doing the 3D print, the 3D design for an episode. Because I do know people aren't all that keen on me just doing 3D design work for an episode. So this will be the last time it will be on its own. But I have been thinking about putting it up in the corner. So that you get to see me build this and also 3D design the uh, model itself at all at the same time. Basically two episodes in one. Anyway, now that that's sorted out. Carefully hold this on here. It's that one dump. And right, there we go. Did have to cut it out because it took a bit longer than I planned, but uh, I have finally done it, and that's probably turned the soldering iron off now. And you can leave it over there. And now all we have to do is remove the PCB because we don't need it anymore. So just carefully remove you. And that's all we need because that connects the motor up to the uh, wheels directly. So I don't need that. And just to test it, I need my batteries. Where did I leave my batteries? Oh, wait, there it is. It does help if I know where my battery is. So I pop you on here. And oh, wrong way. There we go. Not particularly clean track, but uh, it does work. But yes, and if you want to DCC it, you just basically connect the uh, wire in by these uh, two wires here. And the only thing which we do now is just take down the wires till we need them. Without breaking things, that is. Get some scissors. Eight months. Okay. And that basically just keeps it out of the way till we need them for when we DCC it. And then we just continue on with the build. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in a bit when I've cleaned this up, uh, painted it, put it all transfers on, and then made sure it does fit onto this sassy and also put on the uh, rear coupling hook. 
So, uh, yes, I'll see you in a bit. Southeastern Railway R1 class was a class of 060 tank locomotive designed by James Sterling for stunting and light goods duties. For many years, the SER had possessed a very few locomotives designed for stunting. When trains were to be stunted, this was usually carried out by any locomotive which happened to be idle at the time. This was often unsuitable and sometimes this caused delays to other trains which should have been run using the commandeered locomotive. Several other railways favoured the 060 rearrangement for stunting, and so in 1887 it was decided to introduce a class of 060 tank locomotives specifically for stunting and hauling local goods trains. The R class locomotives were designed by James Sterling as a new class, and 25 were built at Ashford Works between 1888 and 1898. As was typical of Sterling's designs, several components were shared with existing designs. The domeless boilers were of the same type as was fitted to his O-class and Q-class locomotives. Between 1910 and 1922, 13 of the SER-R-class were rebuilt by the SECR with Rainwright designed domed boilers of the same type as was used in the SECR Bates class. 044 tank locomotive. These were E builds, were classified as R1, but their capabilities and duties did not change substantially. One R class locomotive was withdrawn in 1914 due to an accident damage. The other 11 locomotives which had not been rebuilt to R1 class were withdrawn between 1931 and 1943. Of the 13 R1 class rebuilds, one was withdrawn in 1949, two in 1955, three in 1958, and five in 1959. After August 1959, only numbers 31047 and 31337 were left, and these were withdrawn in March and February 1960, respectively, leaving none remaining. Here we are with the R1 class now on the layout, and I think it's turned out rather nice. Uh, I do have to say that I've still got the uh, shiny varnish, so you're gonna have to deal with that unfortunately. But uh, let's just zoom in, yeah, it still looks rather nice, in my opinion. Uh, one thing which I do have to change is the um, rear buffer beam, it just needs to be a bit further out. Just to make it a bit more uh, disti well, distinct, really. Otherwise, it just you know, fits quite nicely onto the chassis. Uh, it's not glued down because I do want to DCC it, and I'd rather do that afterwards. But there is enough space in the side tanks to add a bit more weight if you want to, which I may try to do at some point. And uh, also, there's enough space just in the cab to fit a decoder. Or if you're not going to do that, add even more weight. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, I'll just give it a run round. Unfortunately, I haven't got my uh, DC controller plugged in, so I'm just going to use the year no, ye old battery. So um, <laughs> plus it's a lot easier to do without leaning over, over like that. So um, let's just switch it on, and uh, off it goes. And like it's, uh, let's zoom in. I like the C class, which it's uh, showing the chassis wheel. And there's the off bit. There we go. 
would make it go in reverse, but it turned out involved me switching the wires around. But uh, so let me just uh, there we go. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, these we'll, we'll be able to make these free at a time, so it won't be too much cost. So do feel free to order them now. Uh, do message me on Facebook just to make sure that uh, the reason I use Facebook is just to make it to uh, easy to keep record of who's messaging me for what. But uh, yeah, if you do want one, do let me know. And uh, like I said in early in the video, this is my last time I'm separating the design video and the build video. Uh, I may even just skip the uh, build uh, the design video and just get onto the building. But uh, do let me know what you think. I'll try and combine them together for, for a few times, but it uh, depends on how much work it involves. But uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to DCC it, so um, I can run it with everything else. But uh, I've got a long list of other things I need to DCC. I still need to uh, DCC the. Uh, what was it? I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, the LBSCR like which I made last. I remember at some point, but uh, <laughs> I put a little caps in the bottom just to remind myself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for now I'm just gonna let it run around and get used to being DCC or DC before DCCing it, and I need to buy more chips. Anyway, do let me know what you think. Do you like it? Don't like it? Well, you don't like it while you're watching, but uh, but yeah, I do hope you like it. So, yeah. There's not much warping with this one, so I am doing something right. Let me pop you carefully back on there. So yeah. Anyway, I said let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, do feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you again next time. So uh, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you again next time now. So take care. Let's turn it back on. There we go. See ya.